Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah from prophetic guidance comes the hadith of the of uh, Abu Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala in which shows us the importance of not spying and being suspicious of one another. And in fact, those are some of the extreme traits of Hizbiya. And if you look and follow up where many of the Hizbis, those people who called a partisanship, who called to their sect, their group, their clique, that when they want to destroy a person, they spent countless efforts spying upon them, going through their social media, digging up as much dirt as possible. And this is an attribute of the Hizb shaitan the party of the shaitan. And when you think about it, think about even conceptually how much in common Hizbiyah is, not just in Islam, but even outside of Islam, the forces of, for example, you have presidents in certain countries who seek to gather information upon their opponents in order to destroy them, in order to gain some sort of advantage and keep the seat of power. And this is from Hizbiya. This is to their Hizb, that they make ta'zim of their Hizb. And so Hizbiya is not something unique just to Islam and those Islamic groups and sects that call to division and discord. But rather it's a trait, unfortunately, of Bani Adam, of the children of Adam. Alayhim, alayhi afdal salatu was salam. An Abi Hurairata radiallahu ta'ala anhu anna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallama qal, iyaakum wa dhan. فَإِنَّ الظَّنْ أَكْتَبُ الْحَدِيثِ Beware of suspicion. For verily, suspicion is the weak, uh, is the, uh, from the most wicked of speech. So think about those people who wish to call in doubt the scholars of Islam. And more importantly, the, the rank and status of the scholars of Ahl Sunnah. For example, you have so many Hizbis and Deviants who speak about the honor of Imam al-Albani, an Imam of Ahlul Sunnah in this time. An Imam that Imam Abdul Rasul al-Abad said that the Talib al-Ilm, the seeker of knowledge, cannot do without the books of Imam al-Albani in this era. Or kama qal, that his contribution to Islam in general, even that Ahlul Bid'ah benefit from his his uh, excellent contribution to hadith, uh, hadith sciences. And with that being the case, Ahabatifillah, that people set in their target imams of Ahlul Sunnah. And scholars of Ahlul Sunnah and du'a to Ahlul Sunnah, then what about you and I? Of course, people will spy and keep deceitful and wicked traits which show that they have no honor, which show that they have no integrity, which show that they are not from Hizb Rahman, but instead Hizb Shaitan. And from amongst those traits of the people who spy and seek to sow discord and suspicion is more often than not, they are people of ta'asib, people who blindly follow and have prejudice to certain points of view, certain ideologies, certain individuals and leaders, regardless of whether those ideologies and leaders and scholars are adherent to the truth and adherent to the madhab of Ahlul Sunnah. And you'll find that they blind follow their imams, even those who are dead to the extent 
of sometimes ubudiyah, that sometimes they worship them, that they sacrifice for them, that they supplicate to them because they feel that they have an honorable station with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that me as a servant who has so many sins, I cannot possibly come close to Allah, so I have to worship through these individuals. This is shirk al-akbar. This is kufr that takes you out of the fold of Islam. But yet many people who say, La ilaha illallah, wa anna Muhammad rasulullah, they bear witness that there is no God worthy of worship except the law. And that Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the last prophet and messenger. But yet they fall into these types of, of activities, this shirk and this kufr. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to protect us from the spying of the people. And we ask Allah Ta'ala to protect us from this trait, this wicked trait of having a wicked and pessimistic view towards the people who Allah may love. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.